I'm going to be reviewing the Beats Studio Pro. Oh, and actually it's upside down. I haven't reviewed Beats since 2017 when I reviewed the solos. And yeah, you can see the quality of this. This definitely aged like milk with the leather and all its glory here. But other than that, it still worked. Yeah, so Apple has a bunch of shoes to fill. And I'm going to be comparing it to the AirPods Max and the XM5s. Okay, inside the box, you got a nice redesigned case. You got your booklets, your stickers, and you have your Apple Music subscription to start your free trial. Now right away, comparing the case to the older models, we had this hard shell case, which age, and even with the softer ones, which I also have here too, you can see mm, it's a little bigger, but I don't mind it, you can stand up. It still could fit in your bag with no problems. And even comparing it to the XM5 case, which is a lot longer, you guys can see XM5s, the Beat Studio, the AirPods Max case. Well, technically it's a smart case to turn off the headphones. More about that in a little bit, but you can see protection wise, the shell is a lot more harder on the XM5s compared to the Beats. It's a little softer. Do yourself a favor, if you have the AirPods Max, get yourself a case. But let's open this up for the first time. High quality zipper. And voila. Now I went with the brown one, just so I can match my skin complexion. And I think actually, it's not too bad. I wish it was a little lighter. Inside also you have your USB Type-C, the Type-C for charging and for audio pass-through, for lossless audio. And you have the infamous headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which you do have them here. Surprised to see it from Apple. Now I do have the Kim Kardashian Beats Fit Pro. These are my go-to gym headphones. I love earbuds because they're just so seamless. It just goes in your ears. <laughs> Yo, I feel like I'm, I'm back in time unboxing these. The air cushions are improved from 2017. Maybe just wear and tear. You can see the leather just chipping away. I hate leather air cuffs. It's just not my cup of tea. But here, it feels like it's improved a little bit. So inside the XM5 case, you have your Type-C to USB-A for charging, and then you have your 3.5. So, could get dirty easy, depending on what color you get it. The best thing about Beats, you can fold them. So once you could be able to fold them, you have a more compact size to fit in your bag. You still have your same compartments on the side, so you could put your Type-C, your 3.5 millimeter, and you can put the headphones right in. So, um, But then the AirPods Max, you literally can't store anything. Unfortunately, this is just what you get. You literally just take your headphones, you swivel the air cuffs, slide them in, and that's it. This is, this is just, no. And okay, bringing in back the Studios versus the XM5s versus the AirPods. You can see, you can swivel the air cuffs. I like the Beats, you can't do that. Both the AirPods Max and the XM5s can do that. Also, even taking a look at the bottom, you have your Type C for charging, and you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And the XM5, same thing. You have the 3.5 millimeter, and you have your Type C for charging. AirPods Max, you just have the Lightning port on the bottom, no headphone jack. So controls with the Beats, you just press the B button. That's gonna play pause. If you double press it, you skip to the next track. If you triple press it, you get to the previous track. If you press up, that's gonna increase the volume. You press down to decrease the volume. And I forgot to mention, if you press and hold the beats, you activate your Siri or your Google Assistant. And then you have your power on switch right here on the side. This is also gonna control your noise canceling, your ambient. Now in terms of controls on the XM5s, you have the swipe gestures, which isn't my favorite. And the controls of the AirPods Max, which are my absolute favorite. You have the digital crown. So this is the most intuitive way to control the volume. You just hover over your finger, and it smoothly, very smoothly decrease, gradually decrease or increase the volume. Click on it to play pause. You double press it to get to the next track. And you triple press it to get to the previous track. You press and hold it for Siri. And then of course you have your button. This is to activate the noise canceling or your transparency mode. Control wise, AirPods Max are my absolute favorite. So controls and ports aside, what about the comfort? Well, the XM5s, I had them for a year. I gotta say these are like a cloud on your ears. These are super light. I love the air cushions, how wide the air cuffs are. So you could be able to enjoy these for a long period of time, especially for the flights 
which these are my go-to headphones for traveling. I love putting this inside my carry-on because it's light, expanded compatibility on Android and on iPhone. These are just so much more comfortable. It, it's really comfortable, man. I see people working out with these, which I don't really encourage just because when you're working out, I don't even want to ruin these air cuffs, but these are like a different kind of leather though. I don't know what it is. It feels like you have clouds on your ears. The X and 5s are just an absolute beast. In terms of the AirPods Max, had these since uh, 2020, three years ago. And these are also comfortable too as well. Now, they are different kinds of comfort. And actually my battery's dying here. I just heard the AirPods sound effect. These are a little bit more harder. Like it's, it's like a nylon material here. But I don't hate that though. When, when you get sweat build up, I don't know, the leather kind of just builds up sweat and this has a more breathable material. And also I love the headband, one of the best in class. This canopy design is just one of a kind and it's not gonna bring too much tension to your head. When you're wearing them for an extended amount of time, you're not gonna feel any fatigue at all. So yes, these are the most heavy headphones on the table right now. The headband kind of helps reduce the tension. But one thing cool about the AirPods Max, you could be able to change out the air cuffs and get something else. In terms of the Beats, these are gonna be my first time putting them on. It's not touching. It's definitely not touching the XM5s in terms of comfort, first impressions. And I feel like the distance between the air cuffs and actual the, the speaker drivers, I feel like they're too close. Definitely in terms of comfort, these are definitely last place, but it's not uncomfortable. Of course you can adjust it. It's the classic step system. It clicks, it clicks, it clicks, and then you exactly adjust it the way how you want it opposed to like the telescoping design on the AirPods Max and the Sony XM5s. And this portion here, my microphone cut out, but testing out the weight on the XM5s, it weighs exactly 250 grams, while the AirPods Max is weighing in at 394 grams. And last but not least, the Beats Studio Pro is weighing in about 266 grams. I think now it is time to actually put these on, test all of these out together. Oh. I got my noise canceling. Ooh. And I got my transparency. All right, so I got some Migos playing. Typical beats. Yeah. Oh, and I noticed for these, once you take the headphones off and you have music still playing, they don't have no auto, like auto pause when you take off the headphones. Noise canceling headphones is something that you just need. You need to have in your collection. But both of these, these, these are God tier. You're not gonna hear nothing. It might even be too dangerous to walk around the streets with these because you're not gonna be aware of your surroundings. It's that good. But on the other side of the coin, transparency, it sounds like I don't even have the headphones on. Even though I have the headphones on, I can feel them. It just, it feels one-to-one. -one. The XM5s kind of struggle with this a little bit, but it's not bad, it's not terrible, but you have a little bit of roboticness going on, but it don't sound as clear as the AirPods Max with transparency. And for the Beats, the Beats transparency, uh, I don't even know what mode is which. I think this is, yeah, this is transparency. Yeah, these are pretty much, it's not exactly the same like AirPods Max. This is like a perfect in between. It doesn't sound perfect like the AirPods Max, but at the same time, it doesn't sound too, I wouldn't even say too robotic, but this is like a perfect in between. Noise canceling is okay on these, uh, but it's not in the level as these two. These two, I don't even need to keep on saying it. This is, a, this is the culture, man. The, the beats are just a cultural thing. It's known for its hip hop. It's known for its R&B. And these pretty much has the same sound signature. And unfortunately, you don't even have an EQ. There's no EQ slider on the beats, which are quite unfortunate. That's one thing that shines with the XM5s. They have an EQ built in right into the app. Um, and the AirPods Max, unfortunately, there's no EQ. I don't know why Apple don't like to incorporate a, a customizable slider EQ. I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna play some more music. All right, guys. So after doing extensive testing, these sound pretty good. <laughs> it's your typical beats, bass heavy. You know, I, I played reggae music. I played rap, R&B, hip hop. The Weeknd, Drake, Lil Wayne, extensive testing. Um, the only thing I didn't do, I, I should test this out, a phone call. I even watched some YouTube videos to test out the latency. Everything passed it with flying colors. Um, oh, and I forgot to turn it off here, which is one of the things that is missing on the AirPods Max. You don't have no on off button here. 
And to me, I think that's a good thing. I like to be able to put something on, it turns on automatically. Take them off, they turn off automatically. Because if you just take them off and you don't even turn them off, you're just going to be draining battery. Yeah, I know we hated that on the AirPods Max, but I came to love it. But now let's just say sound quality is actually pretty good. Now, how would I rank these against the XM5s and the AirPods Max? Honestly, I'm still going to give the edge to the... <laughs> the AirPods Max, computational audio, adaptive EQs. Um, it sounds a little bit more richer on the AirPods Max opposed to the Beats. Although the Beats, you have spatial audio support and even lossless audio, but the lossless audio isn't gonna make a big difference. I did test it out on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and I didn't really hear a big difference. But yeah, sound quality is good, but it's just not messing with the AirPods Max. Now in terms of the XM5s, I like how rich these sound too. These has that clean bass. And I think that's thanks to its extra bass uh, functionality on the app. And you can adjust the EQ sliders, adjust the mids. This is the most customizable sound on any headphones here. Cause you can adjust the EQs and everything. And you also have 360 sound. So I like the XM5s. And unfortunately I'm gonna rank the beats last place in terms of sound quality, but it's not terrible. It's just, these two are just in a different class of its own. and. Really, if you look at it, these are 350, these are 399, and these are 550, but you can still get these pretty much on sale on Amazon. I see them as low as like $450. But the only thing I did not test out actually is the microphone quality. This is the Sony XM5's microphone test. Let me know down in the comments down below what you guys think. And okay, these are how the Beats Studio Pro sounds like. All right, so here's all right, so here's how the AirPods Max sounds like. Just a side note, durability, it may be a concern because I don't know about this. You know, I've been through 101 beats. I had the studio, I had the solos, I had every beats in the past, and this is the same design that we had before. So I'm very curious to see how this is gonna last. Maybe this is gonna start loosening up. I'm very concerned of this, but that's something with the AirPods Max, I can confidently say three years in, taking them onto the plane, putting it onto my carry-on. These are lasting pretty long. The AirPods Max still look good as new. Same thing with the XM5s. And this color in particular actually is gonna maybe build up a little dust. You just wipe it off with a microfiber cleaning cloth. And I would've got these in black, but I got the XM4s in black already, so I wanted to switch it up this time. But this could get dirty very easily if you're not taking good care of them. So it's been a week since I've been using the Beats Studio Pros taking them with me to the gym. I gotta say that's the best way to test out headphones because the gym is a noisy environment. You activate noise canceling. Some people wanna talk to you, wanna have a conversation, activate transparency. The noise canceling on the Beats, on the Studio Pros, they mediocre at best, they just okay. I can still hear a little bit of the music, I can still hear some conversations going, and a little bit of the weight slamming down. Transparency, it works perfectly fine. Um, but if you've been an owner of Beats, because I know a lot of people, they have Beats like these, you don't care about that because noise canceling, those are new to you guys. Usually you just increase the volume if you don't want to hear the environment. If you hear a little bit, then that's okay too. And if you want to have a conversation with somebody, you just take off the headphones and you're good to go. But another thing too I noticed, phone call quality is pretty mediocre too as well. It just sounds super tiny. Like, the person can hear me, but I sound super low. And you can also hear it on the microphone test uh, during this video. I listened back to it, and I was just kind of like, what? Spatial audio is the reason why you're probably going to upgrade this if you have older beats. But I think the audio drivers and the actual audio tech is pretty much exactly the same as older beats. But just enabling that spatial audio and that support for it, it makes the difference right there. And like I mentioned, lossless doesn't make a big difference in terms of the sound quality, so you're not missing much on there. And the reason why people want to buy Beats opposed to like XM5s or even AirPods Max, you're buying Beats for that iconic design. It's a status symbol. And I know it sounds cheesy for headphones, but Beats are a fashion statement. Like when you see that B on the side of the headphones, you already know, oh, that guy is hip or that girl is hip. 
and that's the reason why you're buying beats if you currently have beats right now and you're looking forward to upgrading I think you're gonna feel right at home with these but if you're on the market for over-the-air noise canceling the headphones I recommend the XM5s it's just $50 more the AirPods Max is even better but I wouldn't recommend buying the AirPods Max because Apple is probably gonna make a brand new one with type C better audio all right guys thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys found this one helpful if it did I appreciate it with a thumbs up this is a longer than usual video but comment down below whose side you're on AirPods Max XM5s or the beats. Until next time, I hope you all have a simple day. Peace.